So we're trying to get ourselves all wrapped up in the law of refraction so we can get back into doing some, uh, some astronomy. Uh, the statement of the problem is always looks the same, right? You have a, some material here, like some water. And the material that the light ray is coming from is some material we'll call it have index, we'll call it N1, but it has some index refraction N1. And of course, it's going into some material that has some index refraction N2. And you can pick any materials you want. It's just that air and water are so common, we'll typically go with those, but it could very well be in the case of astronomy, like the vacuum of outer space going into the air of our atmosphere or something like that. And what we're curious about is, well, what does this angle theta 3 come out to be? And so we sort of have a law going here, which is a true law. It's called Snell's Law. And Snell's Law basically says that N1 times theta 1 is equal to N2 times theta 3, something like that. And you could sit here and do a bunch of calculations and things. N2 times theta 3. Let me make sure I get this right. N2 times theta 3. And you can do a bunch of calculations based on hypothesized ingoing angles and indices of refraction and things like that. But there's two cases that I'd like you just to be familiar with, and that's all we'll sort of need to guide us through our astronomy here. So if I algebraically solve for, for theta 3, here it is. This is that refracted angle. It does depend on theta 1, which you can see over here, and the ratio of the indices of refraction sort of sits between them. So let me tell you how to digest that a bit here. Here's sort of what we'll need to know. So let me draw two cases for you here. One is going to look like this. Here is some material right here, and let me draw the normal to the material. Here's the normal again right here. And let's just say that a light ray is coming in like this. There it goes, in like that. And we're going to label light rays going in like this, put a better arrow on it. And we're going to say that this is index N1 is going into N2, you know, the usual setup that we've seen a few times now. And it's so-called, in this case here, we're going to say that N1 is less than N2. Okay, so if you go look at the chart, is any index refraction where the original material has an index refraction that's less than the one it's going into. So an example of this would be, and you can look at the chart yourself, this would be if N1 was air and N2 was water. It would be a case like that. When this happens, then the bending like this is always going to be towards the normal. Towards the normal. And this is also the importance of that normal, which on the onset might sort of seem like an irritating line for us. But there's the normal right there. So we're going to bend towards the normal. Only in the case where N1 is less than N2. That's the first case you should be familiar with. Okay. The second case is right here. That basically, if N1 is greater than N2. So this might be an inverted problem. Maybe you're going from water into air or I'll just pick another case here. You can look at the chart to verify this. Maybe you're going from um, glass into water. Like maybe you're sending some beam through an underwater camera that has glass lenses or something like that. But in either case, this is the trend that we want to look for for case two here. So once again, let me draw the interface like that. Let me draw the normal. Here's the normal again. We always need these things as our guide. And let's draw our ingoing light ray. Maybe something like this. There you go. There's the ingoing light ray. And once again, this is N1 and N2. So see, it's exactly the same setup. But what I'm telling you then is that and over here, N1 is bigger than N2. Over here, N1 was less than N2. But here, N1 is bigger than N2. So this material right here is thicker than this material right here. So what will happen in a case like that is it turns out that the light ray is going to bend away from the normal like that. Away from the normal. That's what will happen there. These little stars are bend away from the normal. So these are the two cases that you should be familiar with. Let me just hash them out one more time here. And I'm going to do something here to get us a little bit of a thickness thing going in here. Okay, so what we have here are two cases. Two cases that are what are really just an interpretation of Snell's Law. So we don't want to do a lot of numbers in this class and calculations. It's not that illuminating, but I think this is. So we're going to look at Snell's Law. If we have a case where light goes from a thinner material to a thicker one. So I was doing a lot of nonsense with the colors, so I want to make sort of make this look kind of thick down here, okay? And so you see that this is now colored in. It looks thicker 
than this one does up here, right? So when you go from something thin to something thick, light's going to bend towards the normal. So let's even uh, put one more little bit of notation up here if you want air. So if N1 is less than 2, then the trend is something thin going into something else thick. That's it. Okay, it'll bend towards the normal. So you go thin, thick, bend towards the normal. Over here now, the thick stuff is in the top. The thick stuff is where the light ray is starting like that. And that's the case where this might be some glass, which is sort of denser and thicker than just water is down here. So we can definitely have a case like that. And so once again, if I sort of go back here, I'm saying you're starting in some material that's thick and going into some material that's thin like that. And if that happens, you'll always get bending away from the normal. So these are really the two cases that you should know, and I can think of a bunch of exam questions and things about like this, but that's about the extent that we want to interpret Snell's Law. Yes, we can do numbers, but we're not really going to do that. We just want to know that if light goes from a thinner material to a thicker one, it's going to bend towards the normal in the law of refraction. And if light goes from a thicker material into a thinner one, it's going to bend away from the normal in the refraction. And that's, a, that's all we need to know about Snell's Law in order to start seeing how light behaves in some astronomy, which we'll do starting in the next video.